some of the world's most magnificent and memorable cars. 1977 uh, Plymouth Fury Sports. Have found a new home in the nation's largest automobile museum. I'm a Tacoma resident and I tell you, this is beautiful. Filled with four floors of classic, vintage, and super horsepower cars, the LeMay America's Car Museum, located in Tacoma, Washington, offers a little something. Hug those corners, hug those corners, baby. Woo! <laughs> For everyone. And the fun continues with an up-close look at some classic beauties. My vision for the museum and our vision for the museum is to really create a space that people can't get enough of. The museum's aluminum roof sets the stage for the automotive abundance found inside. Must-see vehicles include this beautiful 1930 red Duesenberg J convertible and this 1917 Crane Simplex bought new by John D. Rockefeller. Beautiful, beautiful touring car representative of that era. Jay Leno's got one like it. With space for 500 cars, a large portion of them are from the private collection of the late Harold LeMay. After World War II, the Tacoma-based residents started a refuse collection business and turned it into a multi-million dollar enterprise. He was a modest man who had a passion for cars. He really loved every car he ever saw. And he just couldn't help himself. He found a reason to love it. A car guy to his core, LeMay amassed a pretty impressive collection. So when he passed away in 2000, a $65 million fundraising effort began to preserve not only his legacy, but also a rolling slice of Americana. So I came out here from the east, uh, and we developed a plan to build America's Car Museum. This needs to be about us. President and CEO David Madera says their goal was to create a flexible space where vehicles from themed exhibits like the British Invasion, Indy Race Cars, and Ferrari Mystique could be rotated around. But it's the tried and true American automotive icons of the 20th century that resonate the most with attendees. It's beautiful to see these older cars in this museum. They're just wonderful. They've got them going back from the early 1900s all the way up to the current period. It's an amazing collection that you will not see anywhere else. For example, this 1948 Tucker is very rare. And the list of classic and rarely seen cars go on and on. I mean, I've been all over the United States and I've never seen anything like this. 93-year-old William Casey traveled from Connecticut to visit the museum. He says it's like taking a trip down memory lane. And so you've seen cars for quite a number of decades, oh. right? And how? Since 19, let's see, 1948, I bought my first car. And what was that? A Chevy. We get asked the question all the time, what's the most important car that you have in the museum? And, you know, I have my favorites. Um, we've got cars here that uh, are worth multiple seven figures. But really, at the end of the day, the most important car here is the car that you have an emotional connection with. Chief Marketing Communications Officer Scott Keller is particularly fond of this 1963 split-window dark blue Corvette. Every time I walk by that car, I'm instantly transported back to that era. He says vehicles like this Flintstones Flintmobile, 80s-era Mercury Grand Marquis, and 1977 Plymouth Fury... Can I deliver it to the house, or are you going to just leave it here? ...conjure up the most amazing memories. They also tell the story of America's never-ending love affair with the automobile. Harold LeMay made that connection long ago, and now he has a museum that embodies that spirit. And I think knowing that this place will exist for a long time, uh, telling his story, but more importantly, all of our stories, I think would thrill him. I hope so.